Have you ever seen an API, an application programming interface? Probably not, but you've interacted with one for sure. When you look at your Twitter feed, when you check the schedule of your train, or when you simply look up information online. APIs allow you to navigate data in intuitive ways and create a seamless experience for you. But they operate in the background, defining what kind of information is available to you, for what purpose, and in what format. But who defines that? Hi, my name is Christoph Reitsch. Together with Gabriel Pereira, Lasse Wessergaard, and Martin Brunsko, we ask how APIs are crucial elements of infrastructures in the information spaces of cities. Through the concept of city APIs, we interrogate this logic of seamlessness, questioning the idea that there can be a universal plug to access all of a city's data seams at once. We argue that APIs embed important political and social assumptions about the future uses of data in their technological designs, and that we need a wider debate about how APIs do this and who gets to define them. We hope you enjoy reading our paper, Open Access at Big Data and Society. In a moment the cities produce more data than ever before, uh, we think that it's, we argue that it's really crucial for us to be thinking about how uh, our data gets to be woven into the urban fabric. And that this is a question that, that not only concerns to scholars, but also to citizens and administrators alike. Um, our article takes a technically informed and critically grounded approach to this issue. Um, we agree with Professor Shannon Matern when she says that the city is not a computer. But then the question is, what kind of city do we want to create? Do we want our cities to be hackable, permeable, to allow citizens to experiment with these data seams? Or do we want cities just to offer effective public services? Uh, our contribution, this notion of city APIs, addresses these questions by showing that APIs, they are infrastructural because the end users might not perceive that they exist or that they are there, but at the same time, they're contested and indispensable for weaving future new scenes with data. At the same time, a crucial point is that they are made with future use cases in mind in a protocological way. And as such, they powerfully embed assumptions about how the city is run, who gets to participate, and so many other questions. APIs are programmatic interfaces to digital infrastructures. They are developed by what we refer to as API producers and utilized by API consumers or third-party developers, if you will. An API producer is a person or a group of people who have certain understandings of the surrounding world. They have built mental models of how the world is combined, which we all constantly do. We navigate and interpret our everyday experiences utilizing these mental models. This means that API producers essentially design APIs from how they interpret the problem at hand, and an API then basically represents an interpretation of a tiny piece of the real world. In parallel, it's important to be aware that API consumers are only able to perceive and interpret digital infrastructures through the lens of APIs. As such, API design becomes a curation task which is interpretive and even political. Accepting that APIs are the entrance to the digital city, it's important to emphasize and prioritize the API design process as well as embrace critical discussions and negotiations between API producers and consumers. APIs are the nervous system, the blood vessels of cities and communities in this digital transformation. But what are APIs? How, how can we talk about them? How should we develop them? Should we leave that to the technical people, who of course need them and are very used to them? Or should the way we think about these kind of infrastructure elements in our increasingly digital future and reality, should they be part of our general discussion? That's one of the key questions for us that we've been exploring in Organicity, that we're doing in other projects like Synchronicity, around the uh, Open and Agile Smart Cities 
network of cities. It's important that we don't just look at these phenomena from a technical perspective or an economic perspective or a social perspective or an environmental perspective, but in a human perspective, which means in an integrated perspective. That's what we've been trying to formulate some relevant questions about and also to indicate some evolving responses to. We hope you like the paper. <laughs>